Five cultures that commemorate death in their own way. As part of Vajrayana Buddhism, say that 10 times fast, Mongolian culture is famous along with the Tibetans and other regions for the sky burial, which leaves the body of the deceased on a high unprotected place to be exposed by the elements and devoured by wildlife, especially carrion birds. From what I've read, it's about the needlessness of respecting the body after death. It's said that there's no need to preserve the body as it is now an empty vessel. I don't know. I think it'd be pretty badass to be eaten by a bird, but that's just me. In Madagascar, they practice famadihana, famadihana, which apparently means the turning of the ancestors' bodies. They practice this every five to seven years, and I read that it originally started around 1800, 1820, I believe. There's music and shit. People are celebrating, and the practice is that they remove the deceased from the tomb. They actually remove the body. They take the burial garments off, and they wrap them in fresh ones. The bodies are then carefully returned and returned upside down into the tomb, and they wait, I guess, another five to seven years for the next party. It's also believed that the dead do not move on to the next life immediately. In fact, they will remain on the land of the living until their bodies have completely decomposed. Shit. Ireland has many ways of mourning the dead, and the cool thing that I read is as they mourn, they actually celebrate, as do many other cultures. Though traditions will vary in different parts, it's said that the windows must be left open so that the spirit can leave the home. And in folklore, if any person that closes the window, they will be cursed. I actually read that house clocks are traditionally stopped at the time of death with curtains closed and mirrors covered. I was born on St. Patrick's Day, so if that qualifies me for an Irish wake, open the windows, baby. Ghana Fantasy Coffins. This one is incredibly creative. To honor the life in Ghana, they have coffins built to represent the profession that that person who died held in their lifetime. The coffins can also be created to represent traits or attributes of their loved one too, or even animals that they feel encompass that person. I also love that they play music, they dance, and they eat what seems to be a celebration of life. When I die, please build my coffin the shape of a pizza. In China, King Ming is known as Tomb Sweeping Day. It's a day dedicated to ancestral worship and can be traced back to 2,500 years ago. 2,500 years ago, families will visit the tombs of their deceased family members to bring food, drinks, and money as offerings. Families may even cultivate new soil for the graves as well as sweep the tombs and remove the weeds. I can barely clean my bedroom. I read that the festival also includes the use of a willow tree branch, which is believed to ward off the evil spirits. There's many other attributes to this. Kite flying is also a part of the custom that is a practice believed to bring good luck and ward off disease. I've never flown a kite in my entire life, but I might try after this. Thank you.